All right, uh, rail crane, RABG inspection and maintenance. Safety during the maintenance. All, 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 uh, all, all the all the other errors and surface of maintenance is being performed on the machine before the firm with and use the company lockout tagout procedure for them performing the maintenance on this machine. So the lockout and tagout requirements in the safety section of this manual. You know, start the engine if the repairs um, or, or work is being performed alone. You should always have at least two people been working together and the engine must run during the when, when if the engine must run during the service. One person needs to remain in the command position at the controls. Ready to shut the machine, shut off the engine if needed to rise. Use the OEM recommended practices in order to include the general recommended maintenance procedure for the items done on this own making the pumps, generators, and etc. with the text of the document is not meant as the replacement of reading the OEM literature, literature that is included with the volume 2. If it's responsible to read and understand all the documentation of the band, including the OEM literature found in the volume 2. Danger of failure to obey the following will result in death of its serious injury. The following all the recommendation and inspection maintenance practices listed in the crane manufacturer manuals. If the manual is missing from the crane, Contact the manufacturer and replacement, but do not modify the alter of this crane without written manufacturer approval. Use only the manufacturer approved the attachments and parts of this crane. Crane must be mounted on the factory recommended chassis if remounted with the rebuilt with the crane must be recertified. Nordico Service Note no, 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 Network. Need assistance is only the phone call away and experience with the, if you experience problems, contact the original sales representative first. He will list you on one of the front of the page of the manual. If you cannot reach the him, he will suggest that you contact a representative close to the work area before the no, no, Nordico Service Manager see the map on the next page with alternating representative close to the work area. Requesting assistance. If you have any questions regarding the maintenance of the service of the machine, please call local Nordico representative Nordico service manager um, 1-800-445-92588 U.S. and Canada. Process will be faster if you have the following information before calling the ma machine the model number, the rail crane, ARBUG, the serial number. Danger avoided injury to yourself. The boom can um, fall when point pins are removed. Do not remove the pins until the boom is supported properly. Blocking of the boom suspension rope with relocated. Describe the operator's manual. The absence of sufficient information of this manual, consult your manufacturer. This page is intentionally left blank. Are your transmission? Check the oil level daily with the engine idle the, um, speed with the transmission and neutral with the transmission oil temperature between 160 to 200 degrees Fahrenheit. Always make certain that they're around the dipstick is clear of the debris and move the removed dipstick. Failure to do so may cover the cause of contamination. Transmission fluid transmission should be changed when the transmission is normal operating temperature. Refer to the room, refer to volume two with the component data and transmission tab with more information. Inspection maintenance and troubleshooting slowing of the ring. Bearing lubrication lubrication with the bearing is recommended every 100 hours. Idle equipment should be not neglected. Grease dry and other breeding due to the temperature changes the cause and convention station with the bearing whether the use or not of the bearing should be have with grease introduced every six months the bearing should be rotated a few revolutions to coat all the surface of the fresh rear gear and grease gear lubrication there is a tendency to make the better of the care of the bearing um, that's the gear however the meshing action with the unusual position of the gear tends to purge with the lubrication of the gear should be regreased frequently the small bottle of the lubricant as well with the maintained with the gear with the provided along with a smooth and quiet surface the recommended with the grease then to be introduced to the point of the mesh of the Opinion. Greer every eight hours with a slow intermittent operation more often than rapidly continuously rotating, out, ro rotating application. Inspection tightening of the bolts. Inspection broke between two and three weeks, uh, three, two weeks and three months after putting the machine into the service. Retighten all the bolts once a year after 2,000 hours of the operation. Retighten all the bolts if one or more of the bolts have lost and 20% of the more of the prescribed preload than the actual bolts as well as the two adjacent ones. Should be replaced if 20% of the more of the total number of the bolts or single ring are found to have less than 80% of the prescribed preload. All the bolts should be replaced. When replacing the bearing, always replace the bolts. Um, when inspection with the mounting, ensure that the movement of the part is ba balanced and tilting movement move movement close to zero. There is no radial forces upon it, provided the bearing is supporting all central actual acting ex actual ex exile loaded retighten with the bolts and individual in accordance with the prescribed procedure. Never loosen and exchange more than one bolt at a time. Using the same tighten method, the same tools and the same type of the bolts employed with the original mounting. Check the bolts of the damage, corrosion, and replace if necessary. Tighten the bolt torque should be tightened if the torque of the wrench of the hydraulic tension at least in two stages for alternative methods. Please install the RKS SKF um, slewing bearings. The bolt dam bolts must be tightened in order to show in the diagram below. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 
Inspection is of seals. Um, the seals of the ceiling of the system should be inspected with at least every six months for the instance or instance of throwing the rat routine amount of maintenance for insulation check the condition of the seals and clean the nephew if there are any signs of the damage change with the seals in order to prevent any possible contamination of the bearing. Furthermore, check the evenness of the ring of the gear grease around the bearing. There should be always sufficient amount of the grease of the head lip of the seal. Seals should be inspected during the routine maintenance. The recommendation by the designer, but the interval should be not exceed six months. Checking for the tear or break of the other signs of the damage, depending on lubrication frequency protection, it may be necessary to clean some of the areas to conduct inspection carefully. Remove any of the building of the debris and seal the lubricated with the bearing. There should be a small bed with the grease around the seal, indicating the bearing is receiving the sufficient uh, lubrication. Turbo 2000 air drive. The preferred of the volume 2, the component data, other of the tab, the motor information, or oil inspection maintenance, the trouble speed issue, or the metallic and the take of the SKF, the turbo, the 2000 manual, refer to the manual for more information. System checks should be done with regularly. Include check for the maintenance, moisture for the air system with the opening of the reserve of the drain cock with the revolve with the oil moisture with the resident replacement disc and it cartridge the T2204. If the contaminants are present with the use of the service kit 619340 or 619360 for the initial filtration performance and service car compressor as needed. Check for air leaks building the system cut out with the pressure of the air driver that should not unload and again with the idle if it unloads within four to five minutes there is a slow leak that needs to be addressed. Spray the slows with water sim fitting is around the air drive the white tank of the compressor the repair is needed with the note that the ET type of the driver on the non oil stick compressor could be leaking out or the intake of the air of the compressor there is a yellow sticker on the air dryer that indicates the ET type or non ET type that at least six, at least four minutes will likely to be there result of the non function involved the major leak in the air of the system. So be what it does not reveal the leak, they'll replace the air dryer and load the value valve, valve number 235 and turbo valve. 228 and check valve 238 and the surface kit and the 619340. Include the, all of these valves plus in the descendant cartridge of the T224 t surface kit and 619360 and addi includes additional filtration the T224P. Check, your heat, check heater element. Remove the heater of the rod with the dryer ignition. Off the use the hot meter to check the resistance. The resistance from the 12 volt 75 watt heater is at 1.8 watts, 6.6 amps. Draw with the 24 volt 75 from 1.74 watts for the 3.2 amp. Draw the hot meter is available. The exposure air dryer with the temperature below the 32 degrees Fahrenheit placed by the hand on the portion of the air dryer and feel the warmth. Year, early, um, yearly service in the two or th turbo thousand, 2000 should include the replacement of the descendant cartridge of the T224 upgrade of the contamination filtration T224P clean pour area replacing the purge valve the number 235 clean bottom cap the replace turbo valve 228, 228 clean pour area and replace check valve two number 238 above all included with the 61934 and 619360 for the T224P engine. Further volume view with the component data engine tab with the more information inspection maintenance of the troubleshooting the John Deere lubrication maintenance service at interval charge on the page 25 to 2 of the manual air compressor refer to the page, volume 2 um, component data other tab with the more information on the inspection maintenance and troubleshooting the maintenance charges on the page 13 of Worthing Hall Crow's Gracianotic Mac manual. All right, your hydraulics, hydraulic hose and fitting inspection evidence for the leakage of each of the surface of the flexible hose in junction with the metal with the coupling, blistering, and abnormal deformation all over the covering of the hydraulic pneumatic hose. The leakage are threaded with the clamped and joint that cannot be eliminated. Normal tightening and recommended procedures evidence of success with abrasion, scorpion, scrubbing, and other outer surfaces of the hose. Rigid tube with the feeding means that it shall be taken and eliminated with the interface with the elements in contact to otherwise protect the components. Hydraulic pumps and motors inspect loose for the bolts and fasteners. Leak all the joints between the section sh shields, leaks, usual noise and vibration loss of operating speed of excessively heating with above the fluid loss of pressure. More information from further volume 2 component data for the pump and the motor tabs for the more information on the inspection maintenance of the troubleshoot. Hydraulic valves, cracks in the valve of hosing, uh, valve housing, proper return of the spool in natural position, leaks for the spools and joints, sticking for spools, failure to relief valves and tension, uh, tension corrected with pre pressure, relief and revalve, pressure shall be checked as specified by the manufacturer. The more information, refer to volume 2 component data valve tab for the more information on inspection, maintenance, and troubleshooting. Our hydraulic filters, evidence of rubber particles and filter element may indicate the deformation of the hose and the O-ring other than rubber components, metal chip, the piece for them, the filter may be denoted the failure of the pump, the motors, and the cylinders. Further checking will be necessary to determine the original problem before corrective action can be taken. Our crane system general inspection. Um, 
The form crack of the corroded with the members of the crane structure of the entire boom with the both primary and secondary boom with the both ribs and nuts and pins for the being loose with the missing crack or worn sheath. The drums hook the damage for the deformation cracks any visible apparent bend of the choice of from the plane of the unbent hook or any distortion causing an increase in the throw opening of the five percent not exceeding form quarter of an inch unless otherwise recommended by the manufacturer die penetration magnetic bag particle other than suitable crack detection inspection should be performed at least once a year. One crack and distorted parts such as pins, bearings and shaft and gears and rollers are locking device excessive wear on brakes or clutch systems, part linings or pawls or ratchets, load boom angles or other operating aids over the full range of any significant inaccuracy. If calibration is required, it should be done with a qualified person. An inspection wire rope with the kinking, the crushing, bird caging, any other damage such as the heat wear of the train of the brakes and resulting the damage of the wire rope following the standard wire rope inspection guidelines. Pneumatic, um, play, 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 pneumatic drive. They refer to the volume two for the cover. The other tab with the more efficient and inspection maintenance of the troubleshooting. The following is taken from the page 21 with the pole master PM 550 manual. Prefer to the manual more information. In order to maintain the pole master plan, pneumatic of the drive in the peak operation condition of all time, the recommended the following preventive maintenance procedures are carried out every 12 months or 500 operating hours, whichever occurs first. Disconnect all the hydraulic connections, remove the pneumatic drive from its mounting. Disassemble the planetic drive in accordance with the service instruction. Discard with replacing old rings and old seals. Inspect all the parts with the wear and replace the necessary. Clean all the parts thoroughly with the solvent before reassembly. Full of all the installation operation instruction when returning with the planetic drive into its mounting. Planetic hydraulic winch pull master M12 and H12. For the volume 2 for the component other tab with the more information on the inspection maintenance within the troubleshooting. The following is taken with the page 19 pull master M12 with the refer to the manual with the more information. Winch gear training of the lubricating only should be retained in the initial 6 to 12 and 6 to months. Uh, the 50 hours of the operation which covered the first lubricating oil should then be changed every 12 months for the 500 operating hours which come first. Check for the drums and sign with the wear that can be damaged with the rope at the or with the wire rope. The aggregation with the means of the wire rope has been improperly removed. Verify the required minimum number of the dead wraps may remain in the drum. Don't forget to check the condition of the drum flange for op op optional performance. Over extended period over the period, the following preventive maintenance service should be done with every 12 months. 0500 operating hours, whichever comes first. Disconnect all the hydraulic hoses. Remove the witch with the mounted. Assemble the witch and as the per instruction, discard the replace the O-rings and oil seals. Clean all the parts inspected with the wear and damage as per instruction. Replace the worn and damaged parts as required. Five, reassemble the winch as per instruction. Follow the insulation and operation instructions when returning winch to mounting. Magnet winch. Refer to volume 2 for the component data of the crane system to have more information on inspection maintenance for the troubleshooting file that were taken from page 9 of the Rodomatic manual. Refer to the manual for the more information. Lubrication should be checked as the start of each of the new job. The SA 90 weight heavy oil removing the oil the plug near the rear of the barrel housing. Add oil as necessary per decal guide with until the oil level line um, up the plug hole of the pin over the end of plate. Do not fill and fill past plug hole or place plug or place plug. Inspect the wear of the damage, inspect the fair lady of the assembly of the routine wire of the place the sheaves if un uneven and wear of the groove the apparent then inspect the tag line cable with the routine wire with the sign of the frayed end of the wear as air error visible and replace the cable. All right, storage between us. For a brief period of the inactivity, is not necessary for the drain of the oil housing caution. Always store the unit into the housing in a horizontal position um, to prevent the oil from leaking through the oil seal. For the long period of the inactivity, the lubrication oil should be drained from the housing, loosening four nuts for the end plug between the unit for the removal of final oil residue, tighten for the four nuts stored in the unit horizontal position, magnet generator. Further volume 2 for the component data with the crane system table um, for the more information on the inspection maintenance and troubleshoot all the maintenance of the generator should be performed at least 10 minutes after the generator has been stopped and you have verified that no charge remains held in the generator. Planomatic drive. The further two of the component data other tab with the more information inspection maintenance of the troubleshooting the following they take from the page 21 of the pole master NPM 50 manual with the further manual for more information. Order to maintain the pole master planomatic drive within peak operation condition at all times. It recommended that the following preventive maintenance procedures are carried out every 12 months for 500 operating hours, whichever occurs first. Disconnect all hydraulic connection. Remove the pneumatic drive with the pinpoint. point. This assembly plan to make drive in accordance with the service instruction. Discard the replace O rings and oil seals. Inspect all the parts of the wear, the replacement necessary. Clean all the parts thoroughly and solve them before reassembling. Follow installation operating instruction when returning plan to make driving is mounting. 
Planetary Hydraulic Winch Ball Master M12 and H12 refer to the two, volume 2 of the component data. Other tab the more information and selection manual within the troubleshooting of the following is taken with the page um, 19 with the pull master M12 with the uh, manual and refer to the manual for more information which gear of the train lubrication and oil should be changed after the initial 6 month of 50 operation whichever comes first. Lubricating oil should be then be changed every 12 months of the 500 operation hours whichever comes first. The hydraulic system should be changed at least once every 12 months. Optimum performance over an extended period for the time of the following preventive maintenance services should be done every 12 months or 500 operating hours. Whichever comes first, disconnecting all the hydraulic hose, remove the winch, and the amount of disassemble the winch as per instruction. Discard and replace all the O-rings and all seals, clean all the parts, inspect for the wear and the damage, and per instruction, replace the warranted damage of parts required, reassemble the winch as per instruction for the installation operation inspection. When routing the winch is due to mounting the inspection of the sheaves, um... Rope sheaves should be periodically inspected for the roughness and the worn spot. Worn sheaves may be damaged with the rope, which could be a result of the warp or rope breakage to the span sp bad spooling. A proper fitting sheaf should be supported with the rope over 135 to 150 degrees of the rope circumference. All sheaves should be checked with the retract the grooving and the damage of the tube blocking unit due looseness of the bearing bushing should be denoted with the shaft the creep to the surface should be smooth but should be slightly larger than the wire rope being used. Proper maintenance of the equipment on which the rope is operated with the important bearing with the rope of the groove worn groove with the power alignment of the sheaves and worn pearl resulting in shock loads of excessive vibration which will have the deteriorating effect of um check the flange for the wear, check the um sheaf the grooves um Check the sheaf for the grooves and wear. Check the bearings and the wobble the location of the excess, easy location. Properly matched rope for the sheaf groove. Sheaf groove too small. Um, sheaf groove is undercut. New rope will damage beyond the repair. And a sheaf correct, corrugated um, corrugated by rope print, it, print the sheaf that is will damage the rope. Sheaves bearing the cheap the bearing, check the bearing location sign of the woe and the ease of the rotation woe worn bearings cause the vibration in the rope of the increase in the fatigue of the repair of the bearing and replace the sheaves. Rope inspection. Um Inspect the rope daily, particularly before the making of the heavy lift. The figure below is the show of the critical point that needs to be checked. Pick up the point section of the rope on which of the repeat, repeated place under the stress and the initial load. Each of the lift is applied with the stress of those sections. Contact with the sheaves and attached attachments. Be at the end of the, each of the rope toe. The areas that must be inspected the fitting of the being attached with the rope with the condition of the rope where it enters the attachment. Our right, drum see the general condition with the drum of the groove. The drum is groove, so should it be inspected carefully. If there's damage to the drum, there should is dam there's damage to the rope as well. Inspection of the wire rope. We change, check for abrasion, fatigue, corrosion. The wear corrosion are usually occurs from the inside out. Therefore, it's hardest to all find. Wire rope should be evidence of bird caging, kinking, fraying, and any other damage must be removed from service. And that's the final page of the this so far. Uh, Nordico Rail Crane RB and RBGUG system operation maintenance manual.